Hi, a uh, little update. I uh, painted the nuke box, put two coats of paint on it. Saves me from getting wood slivers. You see it's still all screened in and it's got the top ready for a sugar water bottle. And the bees still go in through here and you close it off if you got to put in a new nuke in it. And then you just uh, band around the outside of here. Hey, I think your t-shirt is a sweepstake win. Yes, it was. And we got that and a hat. This isn't the hat. No, that's not the hat. So. And this morning I put together the cement mixer. Now, if you remember in the past videos, I said I was going to get a cement mixer. Wait a minute. Well, who gave you what? What was it? It was a birthday present. For Hat, which he went to get. When is your birthday? Next week, the week after Father's Day. So how old will you be? Twenty-five. Wrong. Fifty-nine. <laughs> Yay. 59. Okay, so happy birthday to Clay. But, no, it's early birthday. I know. I you know I don't like birthdays. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, go ahead. All right, I put it together today, and if you remember in the past videos, I said when I was showing you the bucket system and how I mix the, the soil in the wheelbarrow and, and whatnot, well, this is going to make it easier for me. I'll take my shovels full of uh, it's a stand compost and... Uh, peat moss and soil from the buckets and let it mix in here instead of doing it by hand with a thing and make my um, bucket system do the whole bucket system in less than one day instead of taking the Mother's Day weekend to get it done because I plant Mother's Day weekend because in the bucket system you don't have to worry about the frost killing your plants because they're up off the ground almost two feet so all they get is a little chill from the night air. So how's it work? Well, it the motor plugs in really easy. Okay. And when you go to dump, it has. By the way, this is a cobalt, which is sold at Lowe's, and cobalt tools are like. If you remember Craftsman from Sears, um, lifetime warranty on the tools. Well, it's the same way with cobalt. If you've got a pair of pliers that are all worn out, you take them back and they replace them. No questions asked. Broken screwdrivers, whatever. And this is a cobalt and it's well made and it's guaranteed with Lowe's and with the company. And they give you a, uh, you write down the serial number on the front of the book and the purchase date and put it in your files for your records and if anything goes wrong you can order parts or whatever you need for it. And it has a lock on here, a lock in in position down here. You need to unlock it and turn this out of the way and then you can dump it. Oh cool. And you let it dump show them the dumps. And it has the place for in the front for the nose of the wheelbarrow to go into without a bar here like most of them have that stop you from getting up close your nose of your wheelbarrow can get in there and you can dump it directly right into the wheelbarrow oh cool and if you want to transport it say in the back of a pickup or or whatever you just lock this little mechanism you turn this over here you gotta get down below yeah. there dear so you can see okay you move this little mechanism out of your way and you put it there over the thing and you lock it like that then you can train this the barrel oh, won't tip that's over nice. and you can transport it in the back chain the framework to your pickup truck and take it wherever you want to go so it's a nice little unit and but i'm gonna i'm gonna use it for some cement work because we want to put a set of steps off the back so that in the winter we're not slipping and falling going to the barn in the winter but for the most part, it's going to be for my uh, bucket system. So that's a kind of an update of what's going on with the nuke and the cement mixer. So it was kind of, took a little while to put it together because I'm the type of guy that doesn't like to go by instructions, but I did this time, so it took me a little longer. I usually just put things together and then kick myself when it's that I could have done it easier.
They go by the instructions. But that's just me. Always go by your instructions. It's got a heavy duty plastic barrel. It's, uh, if the concrete gets in there and dries, but you want to wash it out immediately. But if you are in a hurry or something and it ends up having some concrete dry in there, never hit this. You can get the concrete out by using a rubber or a wooden mallet and just banging on the side of this plastic thing. Never use a hard metal hammer either because it will split it. But a, a rubber mallet will break up the concrete and then you just dump it and get rid of it. But the best thing to do is when you're done with all your work with it, wash it out. Okay? So I guess that's it for this video and hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about cobalt tools from Lowe's. And hopefully that, uh, I think it cost us about $300? Yeah, it did. So it wasn't, that wasn't too bad of a deal. I've seen cement mixers go for as high as 12 and... You, he's been wanting one for a while too. I have been wanting one. I, I made a lot of, uh, sidewalk in the past out here and I mix it all in the, the wheelbarrow with a hoe and a garden hose and believe me, by the end of the day you're you're feeling it. But with this, this is going to take a lot of my back work out of the projects. Just a matter of rinsing and moving the cement mixer. Alright, hopefully you learned a little bit about the cobalt tools and painting your wooden things to keep the slivers down. And aren't you glad we moved the kitchen table out in the backyard? Doesn't it work out good? <laughs> well, I put that sheet of cardboard on there. So whenever I'm painting, I'm not getting it all over the table. So it's kind of dual purpose. It works great for the bench. I got so much to get done out here, but I still got to drive fence posts for the ducks. And do a lot of other things. And all I got left of this is to clean up the cardboard mess from the box. And I want to show another view of that, too, so it's pretty cool. It's kind of messy back here, but we've been working in the back here. Yeah, I want to check the sugar water for the bees. I oh. haven't done it this morning. To make sure. And you're probably getting hungry, too. Are no, you? not really. Okay. I can live without something to eat right now. Okay, well, like, subscribe. Here's Mr. Kitty. He's i got to clean out his water dish, I see. He's got water inside, but... Looks like he's caught on the floor. Nah, he's just... He was thinking about... He doesn't want to come in, so he's going to run out to the back, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, he does. I love him outdoors. Oh, we're going to look at the bees now? I'm going to. Okay, well, we'll just walk over here for a minute. See, he ran... ran. It's the best way to teach your cat how to use a leash. Put him on a dog lead. See those two wheelbarrows? They're going to be obsolete other than carrying concrete to the area I need. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the flowers I grew. They're getting bigger. Yeah. i got to replant those guys. Gotta clean that pond out. Yes. The stones, yeah. I've got so many things on the list. I think I'm going to take a break today. Maybe. I always say that. And then I... Ah! Careful with that. I fell in a hole. <laughs> okay, you going to peek at the bees? Yeah, the bees are okay. eating up the old sugar water. All right. They may be bees from another country. Oh, disturbing. really? Yeah, I'm bees. There's a lot of bees at the entrance too, uh, just so you know. Trying to get this all the way around and we don't lose any more bees. I'm like losing a bee every day. That's not good. Sugar water. Yep. Nope.
And I've decided we don't have a queen, so... Yeah, or queen cell, we don't think, either. I don't think that queen cell's gonna hatch, no. Right. So, anyway, well, we drove to what? Finger Lakes? To get these? Napa. Yeah. So... Hungry, what was that? Hungry Bear? Hungry Bear Farms. We drove out there, but I... It was so far, I think next time we're gonna find somebody closer. It was just too far. And, but, uh, oh, look at these are up. Peonies look good. This is a single Beautiful. and a double. And there's Clay. He loves those bees. Be good to your husband. Let him get a beehive. <laughs> right, honey? I'll tell you, this is very tranquil. Oh, it's very tranquil. We love that. Very common. Even if you're afraid of bees, I mean... I'm a little jumpy, but I'll be alright. You just walked over here without a uniform on and it didn't bother you. Oh, I know. And they're a little prancing around too today. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to go back in the house and finish what I'm doing. And, uh, one, what, I guess I'm coming in? Yeah. I got some other things. I want to drive fence posts out here so I can start that fence because okay. I want to take the old English games and get them moved over with the wine dots. Okay. So the next generation of old English games can have that fence. It is a beautiful day to get things done. It's just a nice breezy day. I just figured I'd take my time. I got a maybe few I'll things come done out, today. So Maybe I'll come outside and crochet and let everything just... <laughs> no, I know. I got I things I got to do too. I think I'm going to take that feeder out of here. Put it out You're going to take the feeder right out? Okay guys, like, subscribe, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.